Beautiful Gemini's Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys are well. I'm here to do the next two weeks reading for you. So it could be either in love, general reading, home and family, or career. So we'll have a look. Now under the Lenormand deck, the underlying issue is the tree. So this is about health, karma, or growth in your life. The first week with the Lenormand cards is showing the letter, which is communication. You've got the house here, house and family, and the mountain, which could be um, something distant or could be challenges that are coming up. But I'm feeling more if there's news about a house here. And it, it could be possibly deeds to a house or documents related to a property, you know, like title contracts. And this could be a house that you're passionate about. It's possibly a house that is in the mountains or very remote. Or it could even be that you're having problems purchasing this home the first week. And there is a warning here to be careful if you're buying a house. It could also mean a home invasion. Uh, it can also feel um, someone's trying to trick you into buying this house. Or you're just feeling a bit impatient that it's taking a long time to come to fruition for you but definitely um it's to do with a home and family documents to a house the second week we've got the heart we have the fox and we have the whip so the heart you know is something you're passionate about it could be a job because the fox there is my um job card and it could be that you want to work from home or there seems to be a problem with an employee who's being very violent and very um, maybe having heated discussions with you or getting a little violent. So let's see what's going on here. You know, there could be a, a document that needs a signature here if you're buying a home. But I would uh, be careful. You've got the fox coming up twice. You've got the fox here and you've got the fox in this picture here. So, you know, this is something you're passionate about. That could be um, far away from where you're living now. Or, you know, it's something passionate and it's causing some challenges in the next couple of weeks. Now we have from the um, Goddess of Love deck... From Wendy Andrews it's coming up as nurturance so nurturance is about restoring your balance in life now goddess longs for you to be whole and complete and it, she's asking are you nurturing your aspect of your being goddess is asking you to be still and listen because she's here to guide you here Gemini and um, once you recognize the aspect that needs your attention you've got to give it all the care it needs take small steps and be kind to yourself now feeding the parts of yourself that has been forgotten may take some patience and in the fullness of time your mind body and spirit will resonate as one so maybe you're out of sync here now nurture yourself and your balance will be restored so that you will be in harmony with yourself and the flow of life so it's all about finding some balance in your life here Okay, now the number 20 is being open to some opportunities that are coming your way and abundance that the universe is bringing you and to keep your faith and trust in the divine guidance. It also means that you should serve and commit to your partner and be responsible for your actions as well. Now the whip does definitely go with that. It's the whip, whip's a physical card, it's an action card, okay. So these are your actions and decisions. The guardian angel, Uma Bell, is associated with the number, is here to help you in the esoteric and divinatory arts. So it's telling you that, you know, you should trust your intuition because you're, you're on point. You're on point and you're getting the right information or downloads, especially through the Lionsgate portal. Remember, guys, it's here till the 12th, <coughs> open till the 12th of August. And I have done the Lionsgate portal reading, so um, very interesting, uh, the Lionsgate portal. I love doing those every year, and 
you may just want to go and check it out and see how it resonates with this uh, next couple of weeks. And you've got the full moon coming up on the 16th too. Um, so, you know, a lot of um, abundance coming and whatever seed you've sown, they're starting to, to spurt. So, you know, remember that um, you're getting help when needed. Okay, so definitely this uh, contract to be signed on a house could be definitely somewhere remote or in the mountains, somewhere where you really love, but always make sure you check in between the lines, get a contract signed or uh, checked by someone that um, knows about contracts and um, it could be something little that you're missing here that you'll find out further down the track and um, it could cause challenges. So I love to you all. Thanks, Gemini. Bye for now.